It is January the 21st, 2021. I'm Andy, and this is the Menorcan Mullet Report from the Golden Ray Rec site in the St. Simon Sound today. And we had some guests uh, that stopped by for a visit today. Uh, J.R. Langwell from WRFG Atlanta, a public radio station, was in town for uh, for an interview and went out with us, uh, with his wife, to take a look at the Golden Ray firsthand, and we were happy to have him on board. Um, he's uh, been kind of following the channel and uh, became interested in it and wanted to come down and take a firsthand look at it, and we were, we were happy to have them on board today. Well, I wish we could report we saw the chain tight and some cutting taking place today at the Golden Ray, but no. Again, it was... Uh, uh, look like a day of uh, things um, maybe being uh, positioned or not positioned properly. Uh, we'll get that towards uh, get to that towards the end of the end of the report. But just a really quick view uh, around the, around the Golden Ray today with the VB ten thousand, and we didn't really see uh, anything um, major looking going on around the whole area. Uh, still waiting to see the cutting begin on this this third cut and this uh, what will what is the seventh section of the golden ray would be the third cut and this being the piece that uh, houses the main engine uh, main propulsion unit for the uh, golden ray and uh, we thought that by now we would see some cutting activity taking place, uh, at least a, a start on it. Um, it's still still kind of dragging out here. Um, we're hoping that to get things started pretty quick. We know that tonight we are expecting uh, rain to move into the area, and it's supposed to be uh, rainy and uh, just one of those not-so-fun days to be out on the water tomorrow, uh, pretty much for the whole day. So all the crews out there have that weather uh, headed their way uh, we're certainly thinking about them uh, tonight and hoping they all stay safe one thing we did notice today uh, when we got on the east side of the ship and kind of looked back we could see that the straps that are coming from the the two large steel spreader bars over the wreck that support the wreck they didn't look like they were straight and uh, I'm going to try to circle this and show you. They they look like they had a lean to them, like maybe the VB is uh, too far to the stern, um, and maybe this is could be part of the problem. We're not sure. Just something we picked up on today when we were when we were kind of looking around, and we're wondering if this has something to do with with the uh, with the start of the uh, this third cut. We're not really sure. You can kind of see that it looks like the VB is shifted back towards the stern a little more here um, with the way these straps are, are kind of, they don't they don't look straight up and down over the lugs, uh, not like we've seen them in the past. Um, this just may be an oversight. They may not be tensioned properly. I'm not really sure, but it's something we haven't seen before with the, with the uh, cutting. Uh, as we were leaving out today, uh, did have a car carrier come by and got a quick quick shot of this guy just to look at the size of this ship as it passed by. Just massive, massive. Well, that's all we've got today. It's a short report. We're still eagerly anticipating the start of cutting operations for this third section. Hey, we ask if you haven't done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Send us some more comments. We always like like to get the comments. And most of all, I want you guys to stay safe out there.